Loopring finally announced that you can mint NFTs on their platform, bringing us one step closer to the coveted NFT marketplace that GameStop has been working on. This is a simple guide on how to mint NFTs on Loopring, so let's get into it. You'll first need to create two folders, one for the image you mint as an NFT, and the other for the metadata of the NFT itself. It's important to note that you should have nothing else in these folders besides an image file and a metadata file. Also, I've noticed that file size is just as important. I've kept mine below 2 megabytes so as to ensure Pinata won't have difficulties loading the NFT when viewed in your Loopin wallet. Speaking of which, you will need to sign up for a Pinata account. As you can see, you can get 1 gigabyte for free for experimental purposes. Pinata will act as a storage hub for your NFTs. It uses something called an IPFS or Interplanetary File System, which is a peer-to-peer -peer network for storing and sharing data in a distributed file system. IPFS uses content addressing to uniquely identify each file in a global namespace, connecting all computer devices together. Pretty neat, huh? After creating an account, simply press the upload button Select folder, and then select the folder with the image inside of it. I cannot stress this enough, name your files properly. Now that that's done, you'll notice your file will appear inside your storage space with a long hash or a CID next to it. Copy the hash and let's move on to the next step. This is where you need to create a JSON file or JavaScript object notation for the metadata of the NFT. Metadata is simply the data that provides information about your NFT. Open up Text Editor and, if you're using macOS like I am, make sure you switch to Make Plain Text in the Format option. Now paste the code you'll find in the description of this video. The opening and closing brackets simply describe the start and end points of the code. The description is the expression of the code which allows you to write a description on your NFT. The image is the expression of where your NFT is located. In this case, you will need to paste the CID that we got earlier when uploading the image in Pinata. This is that long hash that we copied moments ago. After the hash, simply put forward slash and then the name of the image you uploaded. You'll then need to save this file in the folder we made earlier for the metadata. It's important to save this as metadata.json. Make sure it isn't anything else but this specifically. Once we're done, we're going to follow the same steps that we did before when uploading the image. Press the upload button and then select folder. Then select the folder with the metadata inside it. Again, name your files correctly. Copy the CID once more that comes up next to the folder. We're now done with Pinata, so let's move on to Loopring. Before we start, open up your browser and clear your browsing history as well as your cache. A lot of times, the cache is what causes problems when minting NFTs. Go to loopring.io and click on the Launch App button on the top right corner of the screen. Select Wallet Connect and it should bring up a QR code that you can then scan using the Loopring app on your phone. Make sure you press Approve once it prompts you on your phone. Now select the L2 Wallet button on the top of the screen. Once you press unlock, it will once again prompt your phone. Simply press approve and move on. You'll then find yourself in this screen. From here, press the My NFT button on the left corner of the screen. Then press the Mint NFT button on the top right. You'll be prompted with this window, and all we have to do is paste the CID that we copied earlier from the metadata of our NFT that Pinata gave us. If you did everything correctly, you'll see that you can now press the Mint button to mint your NFT.
Okay, congratulations to you. That's pretty much it. If something went wrong, try clearing your browser cache again or go back and make sure that your metadata file is named correctly and that it does not have a text extension on it at all. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for minting NFTs in the Loopring platform. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or just get in touch with me. Thanks, bye!